in 2019, you're actually on a Celebrity Big Brother. Right. Uh, you were uh, evicted by a 5 and 0 vote uh, on uh, February 4th. After 41 4th. days, though. So yeah. give, me, give me a little credit. A little bit of credit. <laughs> yeah. You finished at eighth place out of 12, uh, 12 guests. Oh, no, no. I was in eighth place. No, no, no. no. I was down to the, I was down to, uh, gotta be, it's gotta be at least the top six people. Okay. My bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. I was only there. I missed out only on like three days. Okay. My bad. No, My that's bad. all right. Yeah. But that was, uh, it was great. It was so cathartic for me because I start seeing on the Twitter and my Instagram and all that, that I, 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 you got, I sort of got a fan base that wasn't OJ related. <laughs> yeah. And um, it was, God, it was just a really good feeling. And, uh, and uh, you know, I was also, I did a court show in 2004 and five, 148 episodes of Eye for an Eye, where I was the, you know, the judge had a baseball bat of justice named Extreme Akeem, genius guy. <laughs> and that show was syndicated all over the world. And also, you know, we had a one hour block, KTLA here, nice. and uh, then in KCAL. So it was uh, all over America. And I started, you know, working. Well, you were known as America's favorite house guest. Mm -hmm. And but now you fast forward to 2023, you actually own your own house. Yeah, and I don't mind it. I'm kidding. Well, and your goal is to actually have your own house guests in the back. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I own my own house, and yeah, I would love to have my own guest house in back. Yeah, and I would put my best buddies up there, and they'd love it. Right. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's a goal, and it'll happen. It'll happen eventually. It'll happen. And what are you working on now? Well, there's uh, quite a few things. Uh, one thing is, uh, uh, like you, I, I follow you on all your social medias, and uh, I have a, a podcast. And it's sort of this, in this vein, it's uh, one degree of scandalous. And it's co with Tom Zenner, who was a broadcaster of NBC and Fox and uh, sports and the news. And we cover uh, current scandals and scandals from the past, but uh, we're subscribed on YouTube, one degree of scandalous. And we've had guests on uh, from uh, the uh, Britney Spears' first husband, to Tom Lang, a detective who wrote Evidence Dismissed. So a lot of the information of this OJ the interview, I, I stayed in contact with Tom. Uh, but that one degree scandalous. Uh, also, I produce and host a uh, Ice Wars. What's Ice Wars? Glad I'm going to tell you. Ice Wars is a, um, uh, if you ever watch hockey, you people watch hockey basically for the fights. Well, we cut out the hockey and just go right to the fights. Just the fights. Just the fights. So we're on our third pay-per-view coming up. And uh, it's with uh, creators, Charlie Nama. And if anybody's watched uh, uh, Netflix Until Crimes and Penalties, uh, AJ Galante is the president of our league. So, uh, it's gone really successful with Barstool loving it and Pat McAfee. So really proud about that. I've been at the stadiums and we sell out and the crowd loves it. And I just wrote something and we'll see if it gets on called Wrong Place, Wrong Time as a host. And it has a lot to do with crime of being uh, other people involved in crimes that uh, they're at the wrong place at the wrong time. And um, uh, that's it. And finished with Pastor John Gray, who was Obama's and Oprah, the pastor, and uh, teen court, he's the judge. I am the court representative, and I interview all the people in this where teens are now taking their parents to court over certain mm -hmm. things from getting a butt lift, uh, finding out when it's a jury of their peers, and it's the arguments that ensue, and we just shot three episodes, and we'll see where the pitch goes on. Teen court, which I think will be highly successful, and it's John Gray is ama amazing as the judge. Pretty busy. I'm yeah. getting that guest house, Vlad. Oh, yeah, you're getting it. you absolutely, absolutely Come on, Vlad, it. give it up for the K-Train. Let's give it up. Well, Kato, I appreciate you coming in. I mean, being a part of the trial of the century, which you're talking about this happened in 1993? I mean, 93 is when it started with the preliminary, preliminary trials, right. and then it goes into 94. Right, so you're talking about 30 years later, Yeah, and this is still the biggest trial of my lifetime. Yeah, uh, Vlad, I'll tell you, anytime there's a trial that comes up, anytime there's anything from the Johnny Depp trial recently, every network will call me up for my opinion. Yeah. And it's it's not, it just happens. I, there's nothing I can do about it for my opinion. And uh, I just, uh, uh, I offer it if they want it, but I, I rarely try to call them, but I'm always associated with, with a crime. And so that's why I said, you know what? Cato, embrace it and and pitch a show like a wrong place, wrong time and and uh, teen court. You gotta if you're known for it. But I want everybody to know that my personality is really about light, and I love people, and I'm always about high energy of all good things, all positive. Well, last question: If O.J. Simpson walked in this room right now and sat down next to you, what would you ask him? I would I would basically say, Did you do it? Why did you do it? And how can you live it yourself? 
I'll do, those would be my three questions. And knowing OJ, how do you think he would answer that? I don't think he'd answer it all. And I think he would deny everything. Yeah. Well, Cato, appreciate you coming in. Good luck on all the new projects. Good luck on the guest house. Thanks a lot, Vlad. <laughs> we'll talk soon. I'm looking around the room here. Is there a surprise? <laughs> Vlad, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Peace. Peace to you.